This video is about the notation that we use for holding period returns. So the underlying question here is which holding period are investors and risk managers looking at? In fact, some investors hold their investments for 10 or more years. Others hold it for one year, one month, one week or one day or some investors only hold that for a couple of seconds. Now the return that you earn during such a holding period is called holding period return. So let J be the holding length. Now every J period holding return can be decomposed into a predictable and into a noise component. We write that as follows. So RT, T plus J is the realized return when buying an asset at time T and selling at T plus J. Now mu T, T plus J is the predicted value of RT plus J as of time T, which we can also write as the expectation of RT plus J conditional on FT. And lastly, epsilon t, t plus j is the realized random j period ahead prediction error, which we can also write as epsilon t, t plus j equals rt t plus j minus the expectation of rt plus j conditional on ft.